Today we'll be installing the SWTR2-CV. This kit is designed for the Circus Voltaire pinball machine and will outline the details of the installation. Begin by removing the back glass. You may choose to pad underneath the back glass or the trans light with a towel. Then turn off the machine. Next, follow the speaker wires up to the soundboard and disconnect J505 labeled back box. Once disconnected, use a pair of pliers or a wrench to uninstall the back box speakers. I recommend snipping the wires. You can always re-solder them, but because the harness is integrated so much into the back box going through these connectors, it actually makes sense to leave the harness there in the event that you would choose to reverse the installation. Then remove the speaker and install four of the stud extenders that are provided in the kit. Simply screw them onto the studs, as shown. Once all the stud extenders are installed, grab the five and a quarter inch speaker from Pinball Pro with the supplied gasket and install over the stud extenders with the speaker terminals facing upward. Then utilize the factory supplied nuts to secure the Pinball Pro speaker. Tighten with a pair of pliers or a wrench. Take care not to over tighten as to compress the gasket too much. On the final screw, install the ground strap. Then uninstall the right speaker as you did the left. You may choose to desolder or snip these wires as well. Then utilize the supplied adapter with the removed corner. The removed corner will need to be installed as to not interfere with the back box tub. Then utilize the supplied factory nuts to install the plate. Then install the Pinball Pro 5 and a quarter inch speaker to the adapter plate utilizing the four screws included with your kit. The 2V control will be installed on the right hand side but far enough back as to not interfere with the back box tub. Utilizing the two self tapping screws, attach the back box control to the location that you've determined. Then neatly run the wires to the appropriate locations. First install the connector to J505. Then run the wire to look neat. Next you'll have a long and a short speaker wire keyed so that they can be installed only correctly. The short wire goes to the right speaker, and the long wire goes to the left. I suggest that you set the volume control to about three quarters for its initial test. Then reinstall the back box tub. Always be cautious of your new wires as to not pinch them. To install the woofer, remove the playfield glass, remove the balls, and tilt up your playfield. 
The factory speaker is in the way, as will be the new Pinball Pro speaker. However, we've made some adaptations to make it safer for your speaker. We will now disconnect the woofer, noting that the black and yellow is the positive and the straight black is the negative. Utilizing pliers or a wrench, you can loosen the bolts and remove the nut. You will need to remove the block utilizing a screwdriver and a hammer. Simply place the pry bar underneath the block and strike it with the rubber mallet or put the screwdriver under the block and strike it with the hammer. Once it's gone underneath, simply raise it up and it pops right off. It really is very easy and it, it doesn't take a lot of work. Once the block is removed, you'll have a flat surface for mounting your new subwoofer. Then take your Pinball Pro 8 inch subwoofer that is specially designed for Circus Voltaire applications because of its extra thick gasket designed for floor mounting. Next take the 8 inch subwoofer and install it or place it over the hole slightly shifted to the left. Though not centered completely over the hole it will not affect the sound. However if you're concerned you sure could cut your cabinet but I wouldn't recommend this. The reason we're shifting it to the left is to provide clearance for the ringmaster. The goal in the final installation is to be sure that there's clearance for the ringmaster when closing the playfield. Once the appropriate placement has been determined and you know that there's adequate clearance for the ringmaster, Attach the 8 inch Pinball Pro subwoofer directly to the floor utilizing a screwdriver or a drill. Taking care not to over tighten. Then again check for fit now. In this case, we're clear. Using the four self-tapping screws provided by PinballPro.com, screw down the block off plate to cover the remaining gap. Then plug in your speaker, black going to negative, and black and yellow going to positive. Now simply close your play field and give it a test run. <laughs>